Hi everyone, so this is the first video for lesson three of the A2 trig pack, trig one, not trig 17 you'll be up to. Right, so we know so far you've got tan is sine over cos, you've got sine squared plus cos squared is one. So we can make new equations using sine squared plus cos squared is one. So it says divide through by sine squared. So I've got a sine squared theta divided by a sine squared theta plus a cos squared theta divided by a sine squared theta is 1 divided by a sine squared theta. So sine squared over sine squared, that's just going to cancel down as a 1. Now I know that cos theta over sine theta is cot theta. So cos squared over sine squared, so if you imagine that's all squared, must be cot squared. I know that 1 over sine is cosecant theta, so 1 over sine squared must be cosecant squared theta. So that gives me a 1 plus cot squared. Now it's better than equals, it's identical to. So that's why I put the three in. Because sometimes equals doesn't work, but identical means it does always work. So I'm going to do another one now. I'm going to divide through by cos squared. See if you can beat me to it, really. See if you can just go through and do it. Mistake already. Ah, hope you're not copying. Hope you're beating to it. My phone buzzed when I was uh, writing something. That's my excuse. I don't tend to remember them, I just remember how to make them. But if you can remember them, it's nice. So we've got these now, so we've got to use these as well. So it says, let's have a look at this example. So solve two cot squared theta equals three cosecant theta. So same idea as when I have the cos squared and the sine squared. I'm going to change that from the one above into cosecant squared theta minus one. So I've got two lots of is equal to 3 cosecant. So if I just expand the brackets, what some people do is they'll try and they'll divide, they'll switch the cot squared and the cosecant and they'll make it turn to sines and cos. That's fine, it just overcomplicates it. I can just put this in poly now, because it's quadratic. And I get, I get a half out, and I get a two out. So I know that cosecant theta is a half, or cosecant theta is two. Cosecant is one over sine, so if I flip them straight over, I've got sine theta is 2, or sine theta is a half. This one we know, the sine theta is 2. We know it's got no solution, because sine theta lies between plus and minus 1. Whereas the other one we can do, so we can get the principal angle out, the one closest to the y-axis. Uh, so that gives me, now we'll put me in half. In radians here, aren't I? So that gives us 30 degrees, which is pi by 6. And then if I think about my sine graph, so I'm going, I'm going from minus pi to pi. I'm going to try and make my, try and check my axis, but that's it's minus pi to pi. 
So I'm going to go 5, 0, minus pi. And I'm looking where it's equal to a half. So from the symmetry of the graph, my final answer is a pi by 6. So that was pi by 6 in. So the other one's pi by 6 in. So that must be 5 pi by 6. There. Yeah. So that's the first example done. There's a question for you doing a similar vein. So I'm going to change secant squared into 1 plus 10 squared. There we go, hopefully we got that. And that was a tan one, wasn't it? So when you graph it, and it's in degrees, so you've got to do a lot of like hopping around. Oops. It's a dodgy picture. 270. 360. So I've one at two, and then one at three. There. Right, let's have a look on the next page. So there's a, no, there's a couple more big examples. Um, I might quickly go on with this one because the other one's quite a big one. Right, okay, so what we're going to do with this one then. Uh, I've got cot here, so I'm going to change this one into cot. So cosecant squared, I know, is 1 plus cot squared. So I've got 2 cot squared theta plus 3 lots of 1 plus cot squared theta. It's 4 cot theta plus 3. So I've got 2 cot squared theta plus 3 plus 3 cot squared theta. It's 4 cot theta plus 3. So what have we got then? So I've got 5 cot squared theta minus 4 cot theta is equal to 0. So if I can, I can even take out cot as a factor. I'll put it in my poly as 5 and minus 4. Well, that gets me uh, a 4 fifths and a 0. So I've got cot, theta, cot, theta. So that's dead easy, that one. Let's turn this one upside down. Uh, tan theta is 5 over 4. That's no worries at all. This one, think of it as 0 divided by 1. So when I flip it, so tan theta is 1 divided by 0. So that means it must be on the asymptote, which you're not going to kind of automatically get. Um, just very quickly, this one here, for, the, for this one, that would give me theta is 51.3. I'm looking between minus 180 and 180, so if I go back 180, that will give me minus 128.7 and 51.3. So they're the easy ones to get. This one's the issue here with the asymptotes. So I've got to think about where the asymptotes are on the tan graph. Um, between minus 180 and 180. So I've got the tan graph looks like I'm lying. There, 90, 180, minus 90, there. So your asymptotes are at 90, minus 90, 90. The pack does it a different way. This is an easier way of doing it. It's thinking about the asymptotes, but it's this bit here that's going to get you. Think of it as 0 divided by 1. So when you flip it, it's 1 divided by 0. It puts it on the asymptotes. And the asymptotes for tan within the range of minus 180 to 180 is minus 90 and 90. So that's going to catch you out big time. I'm going to stop it for this one. It's a massive old example question, this one.